So I am currently staying in Laos, and this is where I found a giant a praying mantis that was just sitting in here. And so I figured... So I've actually decided, since the door all the way there, I'm assuming the praying mantis flew in this way. It has nothing to eat in here. Well, I'm actually going to try to move her. I am saying her because praying mantises are larger than female ones. So the first thing that I decided that I'm going to try to do is very slowly move my hand in front of her because she has very good eyesight, but it's mostly based on movement. So you want to be very slow and then just lightly tap on her backside so that it encourages her to climb up my hand. And after going in for my second time, yeah, she began to notice that something was different. So she started to climb more and more up the wall, even toward the ceiling, as you can tell. Next thing I decided to do is to grab my notebook here so that I can try to catch her while she's walking on the ceiling because I know she doesn't have a great footing. But as you can tell, it was a little bit difficult to try to agitate her down. So I did have to be slightly more forceful. But I used the notebook because just like a cat that's falling, she has claws, and so I don't want to catch the wrong end of her claws here. And here I was just explaining again how I was getting her down, but I figure it's still worth showing you what it's like to actually carry her. She does have five eyes, so because of that it is mostly based on movement. So as you can see, if I keep my pen very still, she will climb on it no problem. After I got her on my notebook, I slowly made my way toward the door so I can let her outside. I don't want her to try to fly on me, that would not be nice. She is. She's actually pretty big compared to other brain mantises that I've had before. What I was referring to here is when I was a kid, I used to have pet praying mantises, and so that's why I'm able to handle and move them. Pretty sure she flew in through this window right here. So I'm gonna try to return her outside. Carefully, watch this door. All right. Now, funny thing is, is that now I got her all this way, how do I get her off of my notebook? So I sat here thinking for a minute. I don't think she likes that wind very much. Um, I could just try to shake her off, but I don't want to hurt her. I don't know what's down there. Looks like a pretty far drop. Yeah. Alright, now that I stopped moving, now she's moving again. Maybe I can get her on my hand and then I can transport her from there. Now since I was filming by myself, this is essentially how I was able to get her off of my notebook. Just lightly tapping on her back end like before. There we are. And like I said, the key is you want to keep real calm. I think it was at this moment she started to freak out a little bit as you can tell. I think she realized that she's on a big sweaty being that's moving her around a bunch and so she wanted to get off as quickly as possible. And then, because of that, that's when... Oh, okay. Alright, well she's okay. <laughs> there she is. Alright, rescued her. Now, I hope today's video was fun to watch. It was definitely fun to try to get her outside. Or maybe that was informal. Regardless, thank you guys very much for watching. Peace.